welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations Crafting on a Budget. Today's video, I am getting together and doing a collaboration with two other amazing YouTube creators, Remington and Keisha. If you have not been by Remington's channel, you have got to check her channel out because she does some amazing fan boxes that she puts together that consist of Dollar Tree items. So if you are one of those subscribers who sees hauls and you see items that you would like to purchase, but your Dollar Tree just doesn't seem to be getting them, you might wanna head on over to her channel and take a look at her fan boxes because she may very well already have those items or have access to them and you can purchase them from her in one of her fan boxes, which is amazing. And if you are somebody who really likes that glam decor, you definitely need to head on over to Keisha's channel because let me just tell you, she has done some amazing glam DIYs that I think you'll absolutely love if that is your decor style. If you are new to my channel and you are stopping by from either Remington or Keisha's channel, Welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. For today's video, we decided that we were gonna stick to just doing a Dollar Tree DIY in each of our styles. So at the end of this video, make sure you head on over to both of their channels to see what Dollar Tree DIY they came up with. Links to both of their videos will be in the description box below. Today's DIY was inspired by these mixed tiles that you see on Facebook. tiles are amazing. I really love the way they look. I think that they make for a great focal point on a wall, but am I going to pay $49 for three tiles? Absolutely not. There is just no way, especially as soon as I saw them, I knew that I could recreate them using a Dollar Tree item. And so that is what I am doing today. And it just so happens that Kayla wanted to redo her photography wall in her room. Kayla, my daughter, is an amazing photographer. It is something that she has a deep passion for and she takes some amazing pictures. And so what she wanted to do was put together a wall with some of her favorite photographs. So she picked out nine of her favorite pictures that she's taken and those are the pictures that I will be using in today's DIY to recreate these mixed tiles. I will be recreating these tiles for less than $3 a tile. Kayla wanted nine tiles on her wall, so we paid a total of $27. For $49, you could make 16 tiles. So let's jump into it and let me show you how quick and easy it is to recreate these tiles using an item from the Dollar Tree. For this DIY, I picked up nine of these boxed wall decor pieces from the Dollar Tree. I'll also be using this black flat paint that you can get at Walmart for 97 cents a can and these pictures that Kayla took that I developed at Walmart for $1.79 a piece. Starting this DIY off, I'm gonna start off by taking the black flat spray paint that I picked up from Walmart and I'm gonna spray paint all nine of these boxed wall decor pieces that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. When I spray paint them, I'm really just gonna focus on spray painting the sides of the boxes to save on money and spray paint. Because the top won't show because the pictures will be covering them, I can get away with just spray painting the sides. And because it was a bit of a warm day, this spray paint honestly dried within five minutes of applying it. These boxed wall decor pieces measure out at eight by eight inches, which is the exact same size as the mixed tiles. Because Walmart's photo department offers an 8x8 inch enlargement size for $1.79, that's where I chose to have my pictures printed out at. It saved on me having to crop my pictures and cut my pictures to size. It was just done and for $1.79, easy peasy. For this next part of the project, because it's what I have on hand, I will be using my advanced tape glider, which is a double-sided tape. Dollar Tree carries these double-sided tapes. These are a great alternative. I don't suggest using any type of a liquid glue or a Mod Podge 
because you don't want your picture to warp. I'm gonna take my double-sided tape and I'm gonna apply it to the back of the picture on all four sides. When applying the double-sided tape to the back of the picture, you wanna try and go as close to the edge of the picture as you can. And I'm also gonna do a bit in the middle just to hold down the center of the picture. Now taking the wall decor pieces that we painted, see here on the back, this is the top of the frame. We need this to stay at the top. So when you are adhering your picture onto the front of these, make sure that that is at the top because that is an important part in adhering this to the wall without nails or screws. Once you've got your picture in place, I like to take a piece of paper towel and put it over the top so I can really press down on the picture without putting any smudge marks or fingerprints on the picture itself. And there you have it. Would you look at that? The edges are clean. This looks amazing. I am so happy with the way this turned out and we have just got a mixed tile for the bargain price of under $3 using Dollar Tree items. And to mount these on the wall, I will be using these Command Velcro strips. I got this 16 pack for $3.48 at Walmart. An alternative is to use this double-sided mounting tape that you can find at Dollar Tree. These Command Velcro strips are amazing. You take them apart, you press them together, and they click together. And then you simply just peel and stick it onto whatever it is that you want to hang on the wall. No damage to your wall, no screws, no nails. And when you're done, you just simply pull the tab and you can take it right off the wall with no damage. Let's go hang these up and see how these look. I am beyond happy with the way that this project turned out. I love this DIY. I love that we can do it for a fraction of the cost. Now remember that this is a Dollar Tree item that you can pretty much get at the Dollar Tree year round. It's not something that is seasonal. It is something that they usually keep in stock quite regularly with different patterns on it. And there you have it, my recreation of these mixed tiles. I think they turned out amazing. I personally don't see a difference. The only difference I see is the price that I paid, which saved me a ton of money. Well, everybody, that's all I have for you for today for this collaboration Dollar Tree DIY that I did with Remington and Keisha. Don't forget to stop by their channels to see what Dollar Tree DIY each of them came up with. Links to both of their videos are in the description box below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 2,000 likes. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.